Welcome to another episode of Japan Verse Exclusive. We are going thrifting today as we take you to one of Japan's largest secondhand shops. Let's go. <laughs> The second-hand market in Japan is one of the best kept secrets. Japanese used goods are often practically good as new. Book Off Super Bazaar is a huge second-hand recycle shop here in Japan. Book Off Super Bazaar should not be confused with Book Off, which is known for having the most reasonable second-hand books. However, Book of Super Bazaar is a large store that deals in second-hand items of a wide variety. If you are in the market for some second-hand clothes, sporting goods, electronics, household items, and even luxury brands, then you can definitely find all of those in one spot, and that is Book of Super Bazaar Second-Hand Recycle Shop. Today, we are in Nagoya, but you can find Book Off Super Bazaar at many different locations all over Japan. When you search for locations near you, be sure to put in Book Off Super Bazaar as it is important as there's another Book Off that I mentioned a bit earlier. Okay, let's get into it. Today, we are going to show you some of the most popular items that people buy here at book off so you can have an understanding of some of the products that you can find when you come on your own visit and the first in this category are fashion items like shoes handbags purses and clothes just to give you an idea of what to expect when you come to this uh, secondhand shop we're just gonna you know show you a few of the products that are here so as you can see, they are in very good condition and they're presented well. The prices here are pretty decent and that is because it's a recycle shop, meaning when people come to sell their goods to this shop, they sell basically to you know recycle their products to get rid of them not so much because oh they want big money so usually people sell at really low low prices which enables these stores to sell at prices just like this one so this shoe that i'm holding in my hand is 800 yen this spot is pretty popular with Japanese locals and majority of the time when you go into the second hand shop you are definitely going to mostly see Japanese people as most other stores in Japan after all it's Japan. But for foreigners who come to Japan and you know are moved to Japan per se and they've spent a lot of money on you know key money and moving costs which are pretty high here in Japan and they want to get a few items here and there then secondhand is usually the best choice for them. If you're looking to save a few coins but get good quality products at the same time and you know if you just want to save coins because saving coins is you know your thing then definitely 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 this is a store to check out. So you won't be hearing too much talking from me in this video because we're just here to show you the quality of items that you can get in this secondhand shop that is highly recommended by us by the way very highly recommended if you're looking to you know save a few coins here and there so go on ahead and enjoy the video and i'll check back in with you in a few to just share a little more um important information along this journey enjoy
if you are looking to get like traditional or Japanese styles um, you know tableware then this is actually a pretty great spot to check them out um, majority of these sake cups that you're seeing and green tea you know matcha matcha cups that are used for like that type of um, dining they are pretty cheap you can get them for 110 yen per piece there are even a few of them that range from like 60 yen per peach the per piece sorry depending on the quality of the item so they are 100% worth checking out and if you're looking to you know class up your space with some Japanese style pottery and so on then go on ahead and be sure to check out book off this piece that we're looking at here is 11 yen and this one is a typical cup that uh, green tea or matcha would be served in now if you are confused about you know how the currency converts into your home currency then you can just go on ahead and put it into Google and they'll help you with that because currencies change so often it's pretty difficult for me to just put a price here and say oh 11 yen equals to like 9 cents or 90 cents um, US dollars or so on because currency changed pretty often and recently the Japanese yen has been fluctuating so if you really want to compare the prices um, in your own currency just go on ahead and put it into Google and it will do the conversion for you And of course, it's very rare that you will step inside a secondhand shop in Japan and not find anime merch. So if you're big into merch and you're just like a visitor, you're just stopping by, you're a tourist, you don't live necessarily in Japan, and you'd like to stock up on merch to take back home with you for friends, family, or even yourself, and you know you're on a budget, then this is one of the places that I would recommend you stopping by to find you know, recent merge and some of the older ones as well.
As I mentioned in the intro of the video, they have a massive sporting good section that you can, you know, delve into. They have from golfing, basketball, tennis, baseball, surfing, even surfing, skateboarding, whatever it might be, they have it. It's a massive section and a bit difficult to show you every inch and every bit of it, but what we did was try to capture just a piece of each category so you can have an idea of what you can find. So what we're looking at now are you know we're in the gulf section and you'll see so much other so much more other sections as we go on along so it's just to give you an idea
Now we are in the baby goods section and this is one of the biggest uh, baby goods section that I've ever seen in any secondhand shop that I've visited before and the prices are really affordable. They have from baby cribs, baby beds, um, car seats, proms, trolleys, you name it, they definitely have secondhand versions here. They ha also have a lot of kids toys as well so that's notable they have a lot of kid toys kids bicycles there were so many things that we found in this section that is you know baby kids related if you are to head around a little bit further which i'm definitely not showing it right now you will they also have a lot of baby clothes as well so it's a really massive section Now we are in the household goods section and they do have a wide variety of household goods. They don't have large furnitures like beds or dining tables or anything like that. But for basic things like we showed you before, they have like tableware. They also have like decorative pieces as well for your household needs. and. In speaking with the decorative pieces, here we have some clocks. We also found that they had a very good collection of beauty and care items that you could buy at a second hand price.
we also found that they had a musical instrument and accessories section inside this book of super bazaar secondhand shop and it was a massive collection we of course didn't show every bit and piece of it but they had p uh, keyboards guitars you know amps a few of those things that you would definitely they had pieces for drum sets i didn't see a full drum set but they had pieces for drum sets and you know just musical instruments they had a good collection of it Now, of course, we had to include that they also had secondhand gaming uh, hardware. So they have secondhand PS uh, gaming hardware. So they have from PS, I think we saw a PS2, but roughly like PS3 to PS5. They actually have secondhand PS5s as well they also have second hand nintendo switch and a few wii second hand gaming accessories here and there it's really worth the trip if you're looking to get a good gaming system at a second hand price I really hope this video was helpful to someone and there were so much more things that they sell inside that we just couldn't include in this video or else it would be too long. So if you're interested in second hand items or parking prices in Japan, then definitely go on ahead and check out this spot, this shop. Now thank you for sticking around until the end of the video. Remember to give it a little, you know, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and we post videos every week, so subscribe if you want to get notified about those ones.